let's get right into it. Hi y'all, happy holidays. Hey. So today we are going to learn how to make my favorite drink in old fashioned, old fashioned uh, which is not the only old fashioned thing around here. <laughs> so, so tell me how to do it. Yeah, well, it's pretty basic. <laughs> uh, we need rocks glasses, um, quality bourbon, which we're using bullet bourbon today, which is, mm -hmm. that's my go-to. And uh, Angostura- Makers works too, sorry. No, it's okay, it's all good, baby. Angostura bitters, every bar needs to have this. It's a staple, it goes in a lot of drinks. And simple syrup, which you so graciously made last time. Just some sugar, water, boil it up, stir it, let it cool, you're all set. You don't need to buy it. Right, because I've been buying it for about 30 years. <laughs> well, maybe. Learn something new every day, right? Now. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna base this off this recipe we have here, which starts off with you. Can, you want to read it off to me as I go? Um. Well, I guess we have a quarter ounce of simple syrup. Mm -hmm. You know, I measure it. Whatever. Mm -hmm. How you little, want to do it. If you want it a little you know, sweeter, add a little extra dash here and there. Yeah, fine. and I mean, you can use your little jigger and do a quarter on there if yeah. you want to. Sure. All right, so what's next? The bitters, hon? Yep. Okay, so what do we do with the bitters? Two, um, two to three dashes, it says in the recipe yep. here. We'll, we'll do three. For good measure. Three healthy dashes. That's I like good. a good odd number anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so there we go. Okay. You're making a mess over here, honey. I know. I mean, you know what I always say, though. Hmm. It's never any fun until somebody makes a mess. That's true. <laughs> that is always. I've been saying that for decades. True. Decades. You can quote me. <laughs> and then we swirl it in the glass, right? Just swirl it around. Okay. Okay. What does that do? I don't know. It just kind of mixes together. And it looks cute. Yeah, it just looks like you know what you're doing. You know, it makes it look more. All right. What's next? Fun. Is it is it ice now? Yeah. Ice. Okay. Yeah. I see you're liking. That should be good. And Sounds what do we do good. last? The bourbon? How many ounces? Is it two ounces? Um, it two ounces of rye or bourbon. Yeah, I like both. Rye is a little spicier, a little more, I would say, peppery flavored. Hmm. And uh, But they're both similar. I like them both. It just depends what you're in the mood for. So. I think I tend to go for rye when I have the choice at hand, but... Oh, yeah. I think in an old fashioned, it's more traditional in bourbon. Right? Yeah, right. And then we just stir it up, and it's uh, it's as easy as it gets. But are we forgetting something? We are the fruit. Yay! Um, yes. Let's get fruity. Orange. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not cutting the orange. What are you doing there? No, just a little piece of the peel. Okay, so a peel. It's appealing. <laughs> Rub it on the rim and then throw it right in. Why not? But you also like uh, cherries, right? Well, doesn't it always come with a cherry? Actually, Lisa, <laughs> that's a very good question. It didn't always. During Prohibition, uh, they would often use extra fruit like cherries to kind of enhance the flavor of the subpar liquor of the time. So. The original recipe called for no cherry, no fruit whatsoever. Prohibition, they added it. In recent days, with the resurgence of these drinks, uh, they kind of do without it. But if you want a cherry, we can throw it in for good measure. Please. Okay. I mean, yeah, one cherry on top. Right? What girl doesn't, right? <laughs> of course, he's a stamp, but we can deal with that. Yeah, because that's the fun party game at the end to try to tie the stem in a knot with your tongue, right? <laughs> For all you Twin Peaks fans out there, <laughs> they're still around. <laughs> and that's basically it. Well, thank you. Let's Drink give it a try. It. Yeah. Salud. Cheers. Salud. And happy holidays. Perfect. I think that's pretty damn good. Here's to you. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to you. Mm-hmm. That actually is really good. <laughs> Very good.